South Africa celebrates the 100th birthday of Nelson Mandela and in his honor 100 athletes including the inspirational amputee Kolani Luvuno who ran the Comrades Marathon in June will attempt a challenge in his name. Now he and the other runners who will run will tackle the 100 kilometers from Clogbury near Ngobo to Mandela's birthplace in Mveso. In this way leaving the values of the former president our reporter Zemkita Mangunana is at the event and we cross to her and uh, she has a guest with her. Very good morning to you again uh, Zemkita. Thank you so much for joining us. What's happening? Welcome back, Simpiwe. We are now at the 17 kilometer spot here, uh, where uh, the, the 17 kilometers from Co uh, from Clagbury uh, to Cockland, uh, where they will be now joining the Tard Road. They started their race on a gravel road, and we are now going to see them moving behind us right up to the Tard Road on the R61, uh, taking the, 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 the route to Mtata. But now we're just going to speak to Mulungi Simolwana from uh, Transkei Athletic. Athletics Federation to tell us about the significance of this race. We are already excited and we see a lot of people are excited that they are uh, taking part in this 100 kilometer uh, race. What is unique about it besides the fact that it's for Mandela? The, well, thank you very much for having me. The unique of this race is, be is because it's the first time the race like this and in the history of South Africa is the first time we've got the race started at 4 o'clock in the morning. There's no other race was starting at this time. It's the only one for Tata Madiba because they say they released Tata Madiba and the song is the 4 o'clock. The reason why we have this race. Uh, 49 kilometers of this race is in a, is in a gravel road and 51 kilometers is, in, is on a tar road. Um, have we ever seen... Meters. There's no one. It's the first time we have the race like this. Uh, we've got the Washi Marathon in the eastern, I mean, in the border uh, region. But this one, 17 kilometers from uh, Clarkbury until up to here, uh, Cochrane at a uh, 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 gravel road. It's the first time we've got the race like this, uh, 49 kilometer on the gravel. There's no one in South Africa. If there's other one, I don't know. But in South Africa, we have the first one like this one. Or maybe we have the first one in the Eastern Cape. Africa, because it's not a trail run. Where the trail run, you run over the, over the mountain, but this one is on, on the road. But I'm definitely sure in the Eastern Cape, we have the first one, the race. Thank you very much for your time. Well, you have it there, Simpue. History being made here in the Eastern Cape in the name of Utata Nelson Mandela. Uh, this race is part of the ongoing celebrations to mark the centenary of Umadiba. And the race is going to go through the R61 route up to Mkhegezo, where he grew up, and then uh, to Uno on the N2. And then it will finish uh, at Mvezo, great place where we are expecting to see thousands of people gather there on Wednesday. Wednesday for the official celebrations. It's back to you. Zimkita, thank you so much. We'll certainly be chatting to you a little later on uh, in the show. That was a reporter, Zimkita Magnanana, speaking to us live uh, from uh, Eastern Cape, where the Nelson Mandela Marathon uh, is about to get underway anytime. I mean, an invitation uh, has been extended to every South African to relieve the values of uh, Nelson Mandela and make every day uh, a, a Nelson Mandela Day. But uh, for now, let's take a look at some of the tweets that have been coming through this morning. Well, that Nicholas Malinga says, uh, the favorite uh, one, Koresha two. And on the question, who do you think will be crowned champions of the 2018 FIFA World Cup? Uh, Trained Eye says, hopefully it's Croatia. It would be great if the script changed. Mabasa says, Croatia will walk away with its 3-1 uh, in favor of the underdog Croatia. Bonisani says, I think the score tonight is going to be 2-1. France taking the 2018 World Cup away. Well, thank you so much for your tweets. Keep them coming. We'll ask you uh, again to predict the score uh, for the World Cup final uh, later on today. But for now, let's go back to the morning live stage. and